<laughs> oh my god, and we've already got people in the chat. And we're away, Ephis. How are you doing, my good buddy? I am doing uh, very good. Thank you once again for inviting me for a second round of the MEC. The finale, nonetheless. It is the finale. There is an ice cream truck outside my window, and I want to shove the little musical horn up its bottom. I'm commentating! <laughs> <laughs> I actually had some uh, ice cream uh, just before all of this. Really? Yeah. Usually on a Sunday, we um, go get some ice cream from uh, the local farm here. Couple, like a couple of minutes away from here, but yeah, usually all of them. Then that means it'll be full fat ice cream. Ooh, <laughs> it it is good. It is good. I will uh, say, I'll will, uh, say that. By the way, this stream is not sponsored by that farm. Just, just <laughs> but let me make that clear. <laughs> if it was, what part of the farm would you want to be sponsored by? I would want to be sponsored by the meat section. That worries me. <laughs> FS, if you tell me you're a vegan or a vegetarian. No, 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 no. I, I like to eat meat. Why are we discussing this on live on stream? What would the people in chat think? Have you not seen an FTC stream, FS? We talk about everything but raising, and plus, this is just like the light cuddly thing before we start. Properly yes, that is actually true. Uh, Jibber in chat saying eat, eating and racing at the same time, fun. Uh, Drift is in chat, what up Drift saying, what up, uh, I can't say that word. Well, Drift, this is FTC TV, and Jibber says Metal loves his meat. Uh, no, oh, yeah, yeah, exactly, that, was uh. how, that is exactly what I was worried for. What, a peen joke? It don't say that on stream! I have said a lot worse and got away with it. <laughs> I suppose you do. Okay. Oh, okay. You don't have to agree with me. <laughs> you, you're supposed to big... You're the guest here! You're supposed to, like, big up my ego and say, No, you don't say anything offensive. You, you're a model of kind and family-friendly material. Epis! We, we've been racing together for like what plus ye one year I, I know you Ephes I know this is going to be hard to believe but me and you have been racing together for nearly two and a half years bloody hell yeah time does go by a lot faster than especially you think especially when it's on a scooter mind you have you seen time on a scooter it's something else I've. Uh, yeah. Gat Gatlin says, haha, I am railed. Infernus in chat saying, what up, dudes? Metal What's up, Infernus? Friendly. Infernus, how many drinks have you already had because your typing is already shocking? Oh, no. Uh, Star says, I want my nice silk bed back. Well, go and sleep then. Okay. Hurricane says, well, I'm quite frankly fucked for this. Uh, why, Hurricane? Has your cockiness finally left you for someone who isn't a complete bellend? Mind you, Hurricane might be in the title fight for this one. He might, but fingers crossed. <laughs> uh, Jubit says, I'm forcing a sausage down my mat. Oh, God, Jubit, stop. Horikon says, mate, didn't even know this was today. Oh, it, it, it only happens every alternate Saturday, Horikon, you know. Just you, twice you know, a just... month, easy to overlook. Drew, but you know what you're saying, behave. And Star says, I'm forcing my eyelids open, dinness. Oh, oh, Lord. So, we've got a driver who didn't even know this is happening, a driver who's fallen asleep at the wheel, and half the drivers who realise it's Saturday, and would rather be anywhere else but here. This is going to be an interesting finale. I hope there's 
some action, should I say. Oh, there will be. There will be. Juba says, what will you do, Mel? Simple, Juba. I will time you out. I'll put you on the naughty step. Uh, Sal says, I'm on 19 hours without sleep. Lightweight. Has there actually been, like, a lobby mate or something? Because I'm kind of waiting on that invite. Whoops. Forgot that. I'm used to Haseo <laughs> being in on his own. That Whoops! <laughs> uh, Star says, also, my car doesn't drive. I have no pract. I don't think anyone here practs. Well, whilst we get ready for qualifying to go... There is no real way. qualifying, isn't there? It's just random positions and get on with it. You know what I mean, Ephis, but thank you for correcting me. So, audible warning, you're about to hear Spectator Me come out. Are you ready, Ephis? Well, I'm, we still have our pace lap. I know that. I'm saying for the intro, we haven't even done an intro yet, and we're the, seven oh, minutes oh, in. Oh, no, oh, oh, no, the production value has gone down <laughs> the drain. Uh, sorry, FTC, we're, we're trying to do here something good here. Anyway, and a one, and a two, and a one, two, three, four. Welcome back to FTC TV. This is race six, count them, one, two, three, four, five, six of the MEC events. And, more importantly, what is it, Ephes? It's the grand finale of the MEC series. Race 6 here in beautiful uh, the East Coast here of the United States of America. We are here at Watkins Glen, the Glen. Pretty much one of the oldest racetracks in the United States. And probably one of the most famous. Lots, pretty much You've got every, it, my buddy. Pretty much every Today... race car that you can imagine has raced here. That is true. But today is 145 miles of Watkins Glen. 43 laps total, 42 laps hard racing with one parade lap. It will be held during the day. Nice and clear, no wet weather to worry about. There is four mandatory pit stops that will give the uh, tiny fuel tanks of the Ford GTs something to think about. Pit window opens at lap 3, closes at lap 38, and there will be no virtual safety car from the closing of the pit window. So once lap 39 hits, that's it. No virtual safety car. If you mess up, it's your fault. So, without further ado, <laughs> let's have a look at the drivers today. We have got r r Twisted. We've got FTC Wren. Hopefully I call them by the right name this week. Sam Dries, MWR Lorry, OBBG Star, who has changed from the Mustang to the Ford, okay. Aaron McGrath, that Scotty guy. Fingers crossed he don't hit a curb. We've got Crow, Jubert in a very nice new livery. Mama Sita, that is mwah, I agree, that looks really good. RRC, sad turn is back. The Pink Menace, that is Amos Hurricane is here. F20R Etsy rounds off the pack. Oh, yeah, and there's FS in the Audi R8. Yeah, that's the Audi R8 <laughs> I was supposed to drive for the spa round if I didn't uh, end my, or at least put my driving duties on hold. That is true. Let's have a look back in chat. So, we've got Scotty Guy in chat saying, yeah, it's stupid that you can't sign into the race on the race day for the series. Sometimes I decide whether or not I want to race 10 minutes before it starts. Fair enough. Snoot is in chat. How are you, Snoot? Uh, Jubert says food is done. <laughs> he also says FTC 10, so instead of Ren. Jubert says livery reveal. You spelt reveal wrong. And Juba also says credit also goes to Typhoon. Yes, for those of you who don't know, most of the liveries here are made by the wonderfully talented and ever so gracious handsome devil that is FTC Typhoon. He does 
all, well, pretty much all of the paint jobs for FTC clan members. So, go and show him some love, download some paint jobs, and you will not be disappointed. I certainly am not, and some of the stuff he's made in 10 minutes is wow. So, go and check him out, otherwise, Ephis will fling a waffle at you in the middle of the night. Yeah, and these are overcooked waffles. They, they do hit hard. I don't want to know how you know that, but I'm sort of curious. Okay, then. <laughs> well, that ground to a little halt. A bit like the evergreen ship stuck in the Suez Canal. That has produced uh, some good memes over the course of, the, of its periods. It so has. It, it so has. Uh, um, plus, the best thing is, no one got hurt by it, so... Oh, only only the wallets of the big companies have been hurt by it. Nothing all too big. Just, just, just do, the financial do crisis. The, do you feel sorry for the big companies, though? Well... Hmm, hard okay, to if say. you have to say well, it is a no. So, blip. Okay, <laughs> then. It says, will they have syrup in on... If so, I'm in. Uh, well, Infernus wants you to chuck a waffle in his face, so... Kind of hard to do don't... with, um, travel restrictions right now. <laughs> don't, I don't really know how to take that. Uh, Drift, stop talking about your Mustang, because I want to kill you. <laughs> uh, we're still getting people into the lobby, so bear with us. Uh... Yes, damn that C word, Infernus. Damn that C word. I can't say that C word, but we all know what infection I'm talking about. Infernus just said ruining waffle time. <laughs> Why did I just have a picture of, like, you in a chair showering yourself with syrupy waffles? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's nightmare fuel. <laughs> And Inferno says divorce. <laughs> anyway, uh, well, Metal, should we go yeah, well, over the championship standings? Because we have a title fight going on here. Well, my beautiful standing coho, should I say. I'll let you take the lead. Right, let's go from top to bottom. We in the lead we have R one R Twisted, a privateer with one hundred and seventy five points. So today it is his race to lose. Last week we were we were treated a with a beautiful battle between Twisted and Easty, both in the four GTs going on for a very long time. Unfortunately, none of them captured the win. Uh, Twisted has also on the last minute switched to the McLaren. Maybe that will hurt him. Maybe that will benefit him in the long run. One way, one way to find out. Next up, we have the bump lover Scotty guy, also in the McLaren, at a 13-point deficit. So, in terms of racing, he will... Well, I don't want to hope for DNFs, but if Twisted gets a disconnect, he's the best shot of winning the title, but... Let's be real, we don't want DNFs. We want proper close racing, and we want drama. Next oh, up... Next up, we have Aaron McGrath at a 19-point deficit, so P2 is already just wide open. He will be driving this, let's see here, Aaron in the Ferrari F12, so that's the first F12. of the Ferraris. Next up, we have Google Smurf with, another, with just four points down on P3. It's going to be a hotly contested place, P2, so this championship could still but be blown wide open. Let's have a look here, because Google is currently AFK, so Ren could possibly get fourth here today. If yes, not that is higher. true. He, Mr. Uh, not Google here. is not here. Genji is also not here. here. Uh, let's have a look. Laurie is here, so Laurie can overtake Send It uh, if they score. Jubit can overtake Genji if they score. Uh, Crow we're currently rounding off the top 10 by a sliver. Uh, Rue, I don't believe they're here either. Danzil's not Saturn here. Saturn is here. 
Saturn is here. Uh, Satan Jr. is not here. Tech URL's not here. Zyrain's not here. Wagwan's not here. So there's quite a lot of people that can shuffle around that, in yeah, exactly. the standings. It's a... If there's any big fight going on for, for in the championship, it's definitely going to be P2 in the standings. P1 can still be open, but then we really need to rely on... Um, Twisted having a bad race, and looking at his form from last week, I don't count on him having, on him having a bad race. So, But then again, he is outside of his comfort zone because he's now switched from the 4GT to the McLaren. So there may be perhaps a little bit of inconsistency going on at the start of the race, but he's a one to watch. That is true. Uh, Dave in chat saying, Oi! Would replace fail already. Well, I'm going to be suffering through those uh, replace word things, aren't I? You don't. We do. So, I d we haven't even decided a proper penalty yet. So, that is going to have to be a. Juba, I know. Shut up. You should also um, perhaps tell that there was a slight point reduction for FTC Ren after a steward investigation post-race uh, where he um, went a couple of times wide on track and gained a lasting advantage about... I, was it 3 or was it 10 points that he got deducted after the inquiry? Let me double check. Uh, that I'm not sure of. Uh, three point deduction, only three points. Yeah, I've come prepared for, for this one. As for the team standings, though, McCarran's Racing is running away with the lead at 287 points. Closely followed by Uwu Bot Gaming at 266. And then in third place, powered by Bird Boost in third now bird boost is gonna stay in third but we'll see we shall see in terms of the track today metal where would you expect some of the overtakes to happen or what do you consider as a overtaking hotspots overtaking hotspots well i think the chicane at the end of the long straight going up the hill is a good contender. So that's I would say turn also three and four? Turn three and four. I would also say turns seven, eight, nine, and ten. Because they're all very hard corners that go over 90 degrees. Hmm. I don't exp you can I you can make dive bomb attempts in turn one. I've done it before in uh, the eighties Holy Trinity Championship, when in this on this very track I had a like super close battle with Agile Apollo, and I when he overtook me on the on the start finish straight I was able to like from quite some distance make a huge dive bomb without really compromising um, me or Agile Apollo's uh, momentum. So. You could expect some dive bombs in turn one, but it could be risky. People may also consider, like, think of trying to extend the corner as much as possible, but it's going to be a risky business. I don't see any overtaking opportunities being possible on the chicane or like bus stop chicane on the back straight stretch here after turns three and four, mainly because of the line going in. It's like super narrow, so yeah. It is narrow, but some of these drivers might actually take it out of my mic. Don't destroy your setup before we have started racing. Come on. I'm not. I banged my head. Looks like the drivers are finalizing their car choice. PPS Gerald is in the F12. Mind you, no Audis today. The Audis have been a no-show for a good three weeks now. Because... Well, I mean, they technically, I have an Audi unstable. here. I have an Audi here, but I'm not racing, so I guess that doesn't Boo. count. Boo. <laughs> I 
<laughs> just random booze and it's like, okay, I'll stop talking. <laughs> And Aaron doesn't seem to have a livery of some sort, so that's interesting. Hmm. So yeah, just bursting on the pace lap to go, and would it just dis <laughs> disconnect from the lobby again? Hopefully. Oh no, Snoozy it's just DPS let's... heralds. Snooty saying, "Let's go already." Yeah, I, 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 we want to race. We want to see some racing here, and we want to see some action. But uh, unfortunately, oh, here we go. We got some action going here on. Here we go. Here we go. So a reminder now, is that we. This is yeah. your obligatory audio warning. I do get very loud, so after the per well, the outlap, should I say? I. I'm going to get very excited when the cars start moving. So, this is your warning now. If you have sensitive hearing, turn down your audio before the start of the second lap. Are you ready, Ephes? I am ready for this one. I am so happy you said that. And they are away. Warming up their tyres and getting ready. For 42 laps of hard-hitting racing action. It's also a deceiving track, Watkins Glen. I mean, I guess you're right, but... As deceiving as it possibly may be, this, this track is very, very fast. If you get your lines um, right out of turn 3 and 4, you can, like, just blaze away on the straight. And fast is what we like to see. We do want that, absolutely. So, let's run down the starting grid. We've got F20R, Etsy starting on pole, then FTC Wren, that Scotty guy, R Twisted, Sam Drives, Crow, Aaron McGrath, RRC, Saturn, Jubert, Star, and Gerald with Horkan. Starting at the back. Easy. So, they're all looking. Scotty Guy is in P3, so that's the second row. And that he's is your... the second row. He is on the second row and is currently the highest um, driver in terms of. And there's Twisted. The two championship contenders are on the second row, so this could get very. T this is gonna be. This is gonna be crazy. Turn one could be. All I hope. Is what are what is Watkins famous for, Ephis? I do not know. The curbs. Oh yeah, oh yeah. We we have seen what? that Scotty has a, some sort of magic Magnet. power to attract the curbs. So, well, the cars are lining up here, so it's go time. Let's get ready. They're going side by side. Lining up, getting ready. You've had your audio warning. You've had your time to get ready. This is where you should be bouncing up and down and getting ready for the start. Are you ready, Ephis? I am ready, Metal. Let's get this finale on the way. Let's get ready. Lights out and away we go here at Watkins Glen. And Etsy gets a remarkable start of the line. Ren looking on the inside, already on a cheeky line. Scotty goes wide, riding the curve. Don't know why, but he keeps himself out of trouble. Sam drives already looking a bit tetchy in that F12, but manages to keep themselves out of trouble. There is a pack back and someone's already stopped. Who stopped? Gerald. Gerald has already stopped. Have they got damage? No, they haven't. They just stopped. Okay. Yes, I can see that someone has already dropped through the back, but uh, considering here oh! that we... Oh, oh Scotty going... A... Oh, wait. What's going on? I think we have a disconnect uh, already. No, that I believe that was Gerald. 
who... Yep, we have a disconnect, I believe. Yep, Gerald is out. Yeah. Gerald had a third of a lap before things went a bit tits up. Massive F for him, but... Uh... So, Twisted has managed to get past Scotty. Oh. Oh. I think we're having a restart. I believe. Yes, I believe we're going to have a restart. It's... I... Yeah, that's yep, a restart. Yeah, that's, re that's a restart. So, uh, unfortunately, the first attempt has not resulted in any progress, but... Gerald had some disco... He was... Uh, Gerald, did... from what I could see, had struggle breaking. That and he had like light disc light connection issues just getting in the lobby, so may might be I would I don't want to say expect, but you could see it happening. Anyway, um yeah, we're going back for a pace lap. Oh wait, am I spectating? Are we spectating? Uh you should be spectating. Um why am I not um this. Help. They were too quick. They were too quick. They were too quick. Ephis, please tell me you're not on grid. No, I, I shouldn't. Um, I can't spec Why have I don't have any... Vi I, I can't see. Oh, wait. There we go. Press Y. There we go. I should be in now. <laughs> Lights out! Away we go! There is no... Oh. Pace lap on a restart. We are straight to the nitty gritty of racing. Etsy looking strong already as Ren is trying. Twisted makes a fantastic move up the inside. Trying to go side by side with Ren. Going to drop back with them now. Let's see how things are going on. Send it to chat saying support Twisted for the win with the cutest little emoji ever. Easty already here with a oh, bit of a... Oh, Twisted has dropped back. Easty is already pulling away. Oh, but, but Scotty... Oh, boy. Scotty bumps with Sam Drives for third place. Get out clean. But this is holding up Twisted in his pursuit. There we can see Crow in the background in his purple F12. It's got, oh, Too wide between Scotty and Scotty's Sam Drives. Twisted trying to perhaps just take advantage of the situation. Just, just running his Sam hands. Oh, here comes Twisted on the Scotty's inside. Being forced on the outside. Twisted is looking on the inside. Oh boy, this could get, this, there is calamity on the horizon. I can Ooh. smell it. Too Scotty's wide going here into the turn. So Scotty going wide. Scotty went Twisted. way too wide. Twisted with a very clean overtake. Scotty going wide. Sam drives here on the left. Bump from Scotty. A lot of going uh, things going on here, but uh, oh boy, Twisted. Twisted has a better exit. Sam drives compromise going here in the turn. Sam drives wide. Twisted has a better exit going on the outside on the final corner on this lap. Yes, Sam Twisted. drives. Twisted. Holy crap! So I'm out of breath. <laughs> oh, it's it soon gets away from you and just think we're only on lap two. Oh, yes. So, we're lap one out of the way. Our drivers are mostly clean as we have got Twisted here. Twisted is sniffing seeking. that rear bumper. Always sniffing it like a dog in season. It's, I'm curious to see like how these cars will evolve on this track like I want to see what's what's stronger in the corners what's stronger in the braking area so where it's stronger on the straights the, the McLarens are certainly able to hold more speed through the corners if you get the line right that yes. is for certain the four GTs are very good competitors light on fuel hence why the extra pit stops from three to four uh, the Ferraris they are the easiest to drive and the easiest to snap back if they misbehave Mm -hmm. And then you've got the Audi R8. That's a death trap. Sad times. But, uh, oh boy. Ren, oh, we have a battle here for the lead. Ren and Easty here going toe-to-toe -to -toe with each other. It's a battle of the four GTs, but not the usual suspects compared to last week. 
Easty was one of the two guys, uh, the other was Twisted, with, who provided us a beautiful battle for six utterly, plus laps. Utterly beautiful. But, but here's now, Ren, oh, well, now that I get their name right, who is now battling with Easty for that acclaimed race. Oh, Twisted here is, oh, Twisted is also pulling the pressure here on Sam Drives. It's. It's still some pack racing, even though we're already dropping to some a couple of cells. I think Twisted, you're going to a better exit, Sam. It's a minimal speed difference going to the oh, first he's turn. He's going to go for the lunge. He's going to go for the lunge. Like he has to, uh, Ooh, not he has quite. To Sam tries. Not Sam quite. drives was not letting him have that. And here comes Huracan, making Scotty's life an absolute misery. Oh, but, oh, wow. Scott, holy crap, that's a big to Spinala. Scotty going just into the wall. Well, it had to happen sooner or later, the curse of the curbs. It's still early in the race, so it's not all, all, not all hope has been lost. He could recover, but he has a lot of work to do right now. How Scotty has no damage from that, apart from visual, I will never know. He has know. no damage. you got to be kidding he has me. No suspension, no brakes. I need to. I need no. to. He's got no damage. He just literally pirouetted. That's incredible. And somehow, that was quite the move, Scotty. Who that is incredible. But let's uh, keep your eye on him because he could be making a big comeback. This is also very important in the championship, considering Twisted oh. is third. Twisted has now got past Sam Drives. But worst oh, of all, for Sam drives, here comes the pink Italian of Huracan. And I would like to stress he is not Italian. I'm just saying, saying he's drive, driving an Italian car. He's actually Irish, if I get my facts right. If not, Huracan can call me many names under the sun. In fairness, in chat, saying Scotty, and Cur Scotty Curve strikes again, that's true. Send it says fuel and tyres. Yes, uh, fuel and tyres. Is this, however, they do have, I believe they have damage turned on. Also, send it. How are you? And more importantly, why are you not racing? Tell us what you're doing instead with your Oh, time. we have someone in the pits, and I believe that is... No, it's Gerald going into the pits. I would thought it would be Scotty. Interesting choice why uh, Gerald... Well, the pits uh, window is open, so... Curious to see what he will do. The pit, the pit window is open, and on top of that, these drivers have seriously got to undercut their pits oh, because look at three to fifths. And... Three to fifths. Oh, here comes Huracan. Here comes Huracan. He's going wide. He's going around the inside now. Twisted on the outside. Beautiful dive bomb from Huracan, but Twisted cuts back right in, and then Huracan gets the position back. Holy crap. That was a... Well, that was very tasty. Couldn't say otherwise. Twisted drifting Twisted the car. Drifting. That's a compromised exit. But Sandrise fails to capitalize on it. Surprisingly. I mean, all Twisted that has to do a... is finish the race, but... He should work on making some sort of buffer between him and Scotty just to make sure that he's safe on points. Hmm. Sam, though, is keeping up with R1R Twisted, so we should see how that affects. However, Huracan has got past Twisted now, dropping him back into the clutches of Sam oh, Drive. Oh, hello. Look at this again. here. Easty is on, the, uh, is on the rear of Rend. I think we had a, a lead change. We all know Easty wanted to go for the dive bomb there, but just did not have enough room to go for it. Easty is sniffing the rear bumper of Ren. Two four GTs again in the lead. This is insane. You, it was also Scotty was like partially. Re Easty had a little bit of a twitch there. Easty did have a twitch. Ren is looking calm and composed. They know all they have to do is bring the car home, and they Ooh. will oh, be. And back to Sam drives today. here. And, e well, and twist. That's if not Easty has anything to do about it, they are clean that rear. Getting oh, wait, who's in the pits? Little... Star is in the pits. That's also quite early. He might. 
He's going to lose a position to um, Gerald here. So the overcut. So the overcut has not worked. Uh, Star says my car is a death trap. It is twitchy as hell. Well, Star, that is what you get for choosing the McLaren. You should have chose the Ferrari. Well, back to our lead battle here. Easty is still trying to force Ren into a mistake. Could be very tasty here, but uh, anytime but those Easty... two are. Easy's making more mistakes by yeah, actually Yeah, he does seem to be struggling forcing. more. He should not consider tr trying to overdrive the car because that could be costly for his race. Okay, he's not necessarily in, like, the top points battle. He, I think he's, like, just outside of the top 10. But, yeah, it, it, it looks like Easty is really on an off day or something. And Huracan is, is really... Pr Here comes Huracan. Huracan is so, pushing a like whole, a madman. Another man. twitch from Easty. He is definitely he's definitely not on his best. As Saturn just overtook Jubert. I believe we missed an overtake here. But here comes another Horatek. Oh Huracan no, it's because Jubert is in the pits. Here comes Huracan going past Easty. Breaking up the four GT battles. Oh, and Whoa! then shoving the door in Easty. Oh, he's not going to be happy about that. Easty's race already taking a massive hit. Well, going back then down the field. Scotty is currently in eighth. Right behind Aaron McGrath. This is a small points battle for the championship. But Scotty is... Edging closer and closer by the corner. The brakes on the McLaren seem to be very strong. Lock up from Aaron. Oh, Aaron did lock up, and that allowed Scotty to gain that crucial draft distance to tow him along. Here comes oh, yeah. Scotty. Sco Scotty. Oh, and not another oh, lock Aaron up from Aaron. Aaron goes super late on the brakes, not letting Scotty He's feeling get the pressure. that whole crucial pass. He is feeling the pressure. Well, that's probably good for Scotty because that means he can just go on the go on the full attack and just force Aaron into a mistake, and that could be very costly for the Irishman. But what's worse is oh, here comes Scotty. Here comes Scotty. He sees an opportunity if he gets the corner exit right. He might be able to get him on the straight. Just doesn't seem to be. No, it's a, it's a very even speed difference. But here's Scotty. Aaron going Ooh. on the brakes again, locking up. But still doesn't seem to be losing position. Aaron won't stop locking up. He is denying oh, Scotty. Hold on, battle for the lead. Here we have we have Hurricane and Ren. Hurricane is just is just on fire it seems, and Ren and Ren having also str some struggles in the four GT. Could this be the second coming of the of the Ferraris? Oh, Whoa! Ren going very wide. Ren almost clipping. Here comes Huracan on the inside. He's gonna take the lead, and he does indeed. But only just Ren is there, right in his in his throat to to cut back, and so he does. Ren has the inside of the corner. What will Huracan do? Huracan's gonna have to drop back because Ren. Got the superior line. That is true. And he's man Ooh, but Huracan is oh, but Hurricane is just that. sniffing that rear bumper. Could Huracan this be the battle? Could this be the second coming of the battle we had in Spa? But oh, Huracan making a small off there, going wide and losing some time. No damage, it seems. Sakura in oh, chat. Hello, Hurricane. Sakura. How here are comes you? Hurricane. He, had, he has the inside, but Ren just getting a slightly better exit. Will Hurricane, Hurricane go for the dive bomb? No, he's not going to go for the dive bomb. He's going to tuck in. He's going to get a tow all the way up the hill and then dive bomb into the narrow chicane. Looks like that could be right what you're about to say, but Hurricane. Hurric Watch this. He's going to. He's tucked in. All the way up the hill, all the way through. 
Here we go. He's going to tuck up. It. He's lining up. He's lining Ren, up that missile shot. He's in an awkward place in the trap, though, Ren. Which oh, means he both couldn't going line up a dive bomb. Hurricane's exit was compromised. I wouldn't say that was compromised. I would say that was Oh, a and Twisted cutting back here in front of Eastie. Just in the nick of time, able to capture that. Twisted snapping in front to, to Bye, capture... Bye, send it! Twisted. Yeah, the McLaren scene... All but the, all but the four GT seems to be at a disadvantage at Watkins Glen. This is this is strange considering they were the car to beat at Spa. That is true. They were the car to beat. But here comes Huracan. Huracan tucking himself in. Oh, thought about going for the dive bomb. Had to break. He may out be of doing it. this in this corner. And he whoa. He just needed to line up. There goes Hurricane. Oh, but Ren, oh, Ren, Ren is not done. Ren is not done. Ren is trying to go for the switch back. Will they make it work? Doesn't look... Nope. Not enough room. No, they will not. FTC Ren loses first place. And Hurricane is already... Hurricane already has a big lead. And so is the field spread out for a bit, so as Crow goes into the pits. Crow is in the pits, also having to think about that four pit stop strategy. I think Ren is trying to put Hurricane under pressure. It's still a little bit outside of attack range, but... It looks to me that Ren is really mounting a charge, and holy, cr oh boy, that oh oh giddy, oh, that was uh, that was an intense attack. But Huracan and Ren doing perfect driving. Yeah, they're pretty much in in like a state of complete concentration. But none of them are well top. Um, champ well, like I said, the, the the biggest guy for a race to lose here is Twisted, our championship leader. And I believe there is a disconnect happening. I believe there might be a disconnect happening. I think I know who it might be as well. It might be It's Jubert. Gerald. Gerald. Oh. That's, once again, that's disconnect. A very, is it, was it, I believe it was his first race as well. Or at least I don't remember seeing him on, on different races. And I believe this was his first race with oh, FTC. Man. It's unfortunate it happened like that. However, there is a bright side to Gerald's uh, DNF FS. And what exactly is that him at all? Oh, at least he on. lasted longer than Maze Pin. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh no, oh no. Um, but quickly, more importantly, we have Ren here in the pit as Ren. Sam Drives joins him. In the pit lane as well. That leaves oh now twisted currently up to second place. Our Champions League but, leader um, in second place indeed. But no, Ephis, fun fact for you, as it stands right now in Formula One, Roman Grosjean was on fire for longer than <sighs> yeah, Mace Pin I... has currently raced. Ah bye bye! I've seen that fact unfortunately. Oh boy. <laughs> no. Yeah, I, I've seen the, the memes. I've seen them. <laughs> what a time to be alive. You gotta love... If you're not posting memes, what are you doing? Well, I did I, I did post my uh, Suez Canal <laughs> meme. Uh, unfortunately, you need to play Azure Lane to sort of get it, but... Oh, trust me, I got that. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it's, uh, it's a bit... It's one of my... Like personal favorite memes. Sakura in chat saying Maze Pin will not finish any race. Watch these words. Oh, oh Sa no. Sa Sakura, are you just that person hiding uh, up in Schubert the stands in with the BB gun at his tires? We're going for some very early pit stops here. Like, some guys don't they're even. Not, they're not really that early because we're already, believe it or not, if it's at lap 10. Of 42, we're yeah, that's already roughly just done over a quarter a of the way, yeah. so, so me, that means they're actually hmm. late doing their first pit stop. For a first pit stop, I would say yes. Uh, Star also took his second pit stop not too long ago, 
And who's this in the pits here? Um, that's Easty. So Twisted will take P2 again with Easty going, uh, dropping down to third, even fourth, because Scotty is going to overtake him in on the pit straight, but Scotty has yet to make his first pit stop. He's currently under half his fuel load with his tire wear averaging around the 27.5%. So... Oh, and we've already got an overtake happening of Easty going past the back marker of Jubert. Yeah, the, the lap traffic, is, it's... Considering, like, um, the size or, like, the track length of Watkins Glen, traffic is going to be a lot more common here, so... This could perhaps um, spoil some people their charge up the, up the fields. Most importantly, maybe that will also ruin... Uh, Scotty's hope for perhaps uh, a proper shot at the, uh, the at the title. We don't know because we did see Scotty do quite the resurgence at Spa, but poor pit strategy. So yes, him that back is down true. Again. I mean, he did had a fairly reasonable point of uh, defending his awkward pit stop strategy, but th it's that's not how I would have run my race, in my opinion. Hmm. And Crow just Sac exiting the pit stop as well. Saka in chat saying, no, I'm not doing that. I just hate that guy. Okay. Well, Saka, at least he's telling me. Oh, it Huracan is. is in the pits. Oh, Huracan. So let's see. Easty will be joining the pits as well. So our two race leaders currently in the pits as, uh, as Cotty guy. Let's see what he will do. Let's He's staying have out. A look at, let's have a look at little budget Jacksepticeye. Scotty is staying out, so he will be taking the lead of this race, but still has to make his very first pit stop, and we're already over a quarter of the way through, so... Scotty is looking quite confident right now, especially after that ballerina-style spin he had on lap three and of Ren this race. And Ren is going to overtake... I believe that's... No, he will be in front of Easty, but not be in front of Huracan, so... And I think he even has a deficit, a bigger deficit to Huracan before he took a pit stop, so... That's a nicely done overcut by Huracan. That is very true. So, with that out of the way, there's nothing really happening out on track with the closest approximation for a battle between being Huracan and Ren, but that's still miles off. That is true, that battle is miles off. So, it appears we have reached our first stalemate of the 145 miles of Watkins Glen. How unfortunate. Uh, oh. Huracan saying uh, Ferrari's Pug, Infinity saying hi Sakura, Sakura saying yo Dave. It looks to me that Ren is definitely closing in on Huracan, not by much, but... Yeah, he's, clo yeah, he's, he is closing in the corners and the braking zone, so... The Ferrari not really... Living up to its E, I mean, it might be easy to drive, but it seems to be compromised in the corners compared to all of the other cars. Uh, Day says, how's it going, Kutas? Kutas? Uh, Dave, what's a Kutas? Does oh! He oh, he's calling us Kuntashes. Kuntash! You, bash you bastard, Dave! Right. Uh, now that <laughs> now that the usual Kuntash mention is out of the way. Oh 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 no! Uh, I I was wrong. Uh, he's saying Kutas is prick in Polish because uh, he was oh. speaking to Sakra. You know what? Sakra is a bit of a Kutas, so. The, oh oh I'll oh, agree. oh no! Oh no! Commentator poking fun at the guys in chat. How bad! 
FS, I have the microphone, they don't. I have the power. I am like a digital He-Man, minus oh, oh, the body no, oh. and fame. Oh god, don't bring that Mima, please. <laughs> He-Man, <laughs> I have the power of the microphone. Uh, <laughs> let's take a look here at Star, because, um, with uh, his Sakura, sing no, sing I song. don't want... Yeah, I don't want you to come to me, uh, Sakura. That would be quite terrifying to think about. Yes, yeah, so let's do have a look at Star and the Ford because he's about oh to be my... lapped, unfortunately, by uh, our racer leader, being Scotty Guy. Actually, that, let's, he that might. Ford... What's he? He's going in. I, going I, I hadn't even expected that. He. I think that would be the best idea. Just if he would have been. Um, staying out, he might be under Star Star's rear wing and losing a lot more time. So, probably a good idea to just go for a pit. But that means he will be resigning the lead and pretty much P1 and P2, but even P4, even P5 uh, and P6, perhaps. Infernus is asking, what is prick in Belgian? Um, I'm not. This is not on my own illusion that I'm saying, but uh, a rough translation would be idiot or klotzak. So, idiot in Belgian is prick. Sort of. It's a rough translation. Oh wait, we have we have someone tr on stopped on track. Who is that? What happened to Saturn? Ooh, I don't know. Let's have a look at Saturn now. Saturn was parked for some reason. Did he lose his? Did he lose control? Doesn't seem to have any damage. No, they haven't got any damage. That hmm. surprise. I wonder what happened there. Again, he could probably have lost control, or but yeah, we, we were just not uh, unfortunately in. Uh, well, we we essentially did a cardinal science. Whenever science does something, we <laughs> fail to um, put it on TV. Uh, let's have a look at some stats as we're over a quarter of the way through now, rapidly approaching the halfway mark. Uh, our leader is currently AMS Huracan, who is also the fastest lap leader of the race with a 146 dead so Horakan is currently proving to be the person Saturn having a little beat. bit of problem here because he is sort of a striking arrangement from uh holy cr what holy crap Saturn big off here he's he's having Ooh. big trouble I believe that's a controller issue Oh, that that could be that that might be able that might be the explanation of what was going on in that turn. So, and I believe Saturn also had big problems last week as well at Spa with his controller. Uh, Sakura saying Ephes is the nicer half of the temporary commentary duo. Oh, uh, Sakura, I, I'll Sakura, take I'm that not, as a compliment. I'm not temporary. He's he's talking about me, but. Appreciate uh, the compliments. Sugar flyer in chat saying commentators curse. That's true. That's very true. If you want to see an example of commentators curse, look what happened to Alonso and uh, who else was it? Uh, Pierre Gasly. I told you before, before like uh, on last uh, MEC race, that keep an eye on on, uh, on those two during the Bahrain Grand Prix and. Um, unfortunately, I put the commentator's curse over them. Alonso retires. Yes, and then, you did. And then Gasly, unfortunately, uses his rear wing and his race was compromised. Uh, Huracan is approaching bat markers once again, so if they pit, it will be advantageous to him. But if they don't, there will be a rolling roadblock. So let's see what people do. No one's in the pit, so Huracan has got some work to do. Let's take a look where he is. Yes, he is. Uh, Sac Sacra asks, Ephes, are you joining the FTC Super Cup? Um, it's a good question. I don't necessarily think I will race for a little bit of, or, or like a couple of um, like series. I just, I'll say it like this: if the hunger returns and I have a re and I have the right reason to race again, 
I will. It's not a def it's not that I'm seeing like I'm seeing like I'm not wanna race anymore. It's just that the smile that I had during my debut um at Abu Dhabi for the eighties World Trinity Championship was gone. So if it returns and I'm hungry again, I will race again. Well, if it's at least you ended on a high. That's true, and... I went out with a podium. Even if it was a test event, I did go out with a podium, and Huracan is right under the rear wing of Star, so Star, you might want to go out of the way for this one. Yeah, Star's going to have to pull he, over, which yep, he has. And he does. Uh, in further saying, commentators curse every time the Viking and the deflating balloon watch me, I crash. That is offensive, Dave. I have never been called a Viking in my life. I'll wait for the joke to set in, and then in fairness, we'll be annoyed. <laughs> and that's pretty much everything in terms of on-track action that is happening, because uh, Star is about to be, well, mostly overtaken as a backmarker, which is a bit unfortunate, but... That yeah. is a bit unfortunate, but um, the field is mostly spread out, so whilst it is spread out, I'll give you a rundown. Oh, don't give Sacred new ways to insult me, Dave! <laughs> FTC officially uh, hoaxing against against Metal Gage. I'm part of FTC, I don't know why. <laughs> anyway, so the current standings are as follows. We've got AMS Huracan in first, in second. FTC Ren in third. r and Twisted. Fourth, F20 Easty. Fifth, Sam Drives. Sixth, that Scotty guy as Huracan gets a little bit twitchy. Crow is in seventh. Aaron McGrath is in eighth. Sad Turn is in ninth. Jubit rounds off the top ten. And Starlight currently just outside of the top ten. And Gerald is the only DNFer so far. In terms of championship points, it's Twisted who is currently... Your well, as it stands, Twisted will win this will win the championship, and Scotty is practically half the racetrack behind him. So it's still a long race. To, it's still a long race, but his title hopes are slipping. So he might have to settle with just being able to finish the race. That is true. Ren, meanwhile, is doing a very good job at holding on to second. Yes, that is true. And... Well, he has a choice now to make. Considering he is... Well, it's not really necessarily like low, but... His fuel state is sort of diminishing. His tires are worn. And he has two back markers in front of him. Does he go for the pit stop? And I would say if I was Ren right now, I would pit and stretch my fuel out a little bit more over the next two pit stops because, you know, you've got more than enough to play with with four pit stops even for the Ford. Mm -hmm. So I would say pit, get the fuel and tyres done, You'll have a bit of clean track where you'll be able to put down the lap times, but that's just me, so... Yeah, we, we are Ren... just uh, your armchair expert in terms of pit strategy. We'll leave, we'll leave the strategies to our lovely friend Bono at Mercedes-AMG Patronus Racing. I don't want to know, do I? <laughs> but what? I'm just, I'm just assigning a proper strategist to, to this discussion, even though Mercedes probably doesn't want to talk with us. <laughs> Let's take a look here. This... Okay, I'm going to make this open bet for everyone in chat right now. If Mercedes just even acknowledge FTC or anyone in FTC mentioning a racing league, I will eat a shoe. On stream, Ren I will here eat a shoe. 
Yes, uh, sorry to cut in there. Juber just being left by Ren here, so... Ren is pretty much clear of those two lapped cars, so he can put the hammer down and try to crawl back into a attacking position to catch Mr. Huracan here, but that could take a, like a couple of laps. Plus, Ren really needs to start considering when to pit. And Sam Drives Ren... is currently in the pits. Uh, Sam Drives is in the pits, which is nice to see. We've still only got one DNF, which is very nice to see. Although what isn't nice to see is Ren's fuel gauge. That is just declining faster than modern civilization. That is true, but... Twisted is also try is also slowly creeping in in attack range, but he still has to uh, clear those two lapped cars. So that might be a saving grace uh, for Ren here, so that because he has a little bit of a breathing uh, room, a little bit of a buffer, so that he can mm. just take it easy and just hopefully extend his uh, his available fuel supply and tires. Uh, going back to chat quickly, uh, Sakura says, Metal, have you ever seen Mercedes-Benz trucks mentioned in our truck series? We what? could be looking at a... We could be look coming, looking up at a upcoming battle between Jubert and Star. Oh, really? Let's have a look at the battle. It's still a little bit... Out... Uh, like... Uh, um... What's the word I'm looking for? Distance, premature. yeah, premature. But who knows? We could be looking at something here if Twisted uh, disrupts uh, the racing flow of Schubert. Uh Back to chat quickly. He says, "Have you seen Mercedes-Benz trucks mentioned in our truck series on Facebook?" Uh, no, because a, I don't use Facebook, and b, that was before I joined. So shush, Saka. Hey, but uh, that's Smith still says, pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Eh? Uh, Snooty says, I'd imagine you want to slow cook that shoe to make it nice and tender. Oh, God. Sugar says, I doubt Ephes will get a response from Mercedes. Uh, Sugar, he already has. Thank you very much. Sakura saying, Metal, you already lost. Uh, no, because, well, reword the bet. So, shh. Snooty saying, theoretically, you could make some shoestring fries and a side dish. As a side dish, but you'll already have the shoestrings. Snoo Snooty, what are you actually on today? Because it seems oh boy, amazing. Twisted, twisted just uh, lap Jubert, so strap yourself in, boys, because we could be looking at a battle between Jubert and Star here. McLaren versus Fords. Well, Jubert is certainly doing well, minus a teammate as well. So... He has a lot of... He's, he's hanging tough. Give it to him. He's hanging tough. I would like tough. to say, Jubert, a uh, little bit of a congratulations. Newest member in FTC. I've totally forgot about that. Congratulations to Jubert to um, to join the FTC racing group. That is a... That's no, that's no mean feat. FSS still want you to join. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we'll see about that in the future. We'll see. Oh, I can tell Dave has had a few because he's just gone, Woo! FTZ, Juba! Yeah, just keep your eyes here on Jubert and Star because the battle could be split open right on the spot. Oh, yeah, Ju oh, yeah Star is... We may be looking at a duel here between Jubert and Star. Star is pushing. Oh, yes. Star, Star, has, got Star the... has the pace. Star has the pace to overtake Jubert, so. Jubert, buddy? He does, however. Oh, there goes also... Star. There goes Star. Not enough. Jubert on the inside. Star backing out. And... Oh, boy. Easty. Easty, buddy. You have, you have arrived at the wrong place at the wrong time, buddy. Oh. Jubert having a little bit of a struggle in the McLaren, allowing Star to slightly close up the gap. And Easty just having the best seed in the house for this battle. Oh, Star's going on the inside. We could be looking at a 
lunch here. Ooh, this is... Okay, Easty, you better back off right now, because this is not where you e want to be. Easty is about to split a battle in a half. Oh, go Whoa, oh, as Jubit Ju goes sliding. Yeah, Easty just had to go through that, but, like, this, co did ha this has perhaps compromised both of uh, our two drivers here, so... I guess we're still on equal footing, but... Yeah, l l l key. oh, holy cr how many people are in the pits here? Oh, hold I think on. everyone. Oh, no, never mind. I thought there was a disconnect. Uh, no, I just believe... Horicon's also in the pits. Yeah, a lot... A bit, there's a big scramble going on in the, pits, in the pit lane, so... It's probably... So... But we're also up over the halfway marker in the race, so I suppose pit stop two is now done. Uh, pit stop two should be done, if not number three. Let's take it. Oh, but oh, seven to nine is is uh is all um. Jubert goes so wide there. And here comes Crow with far better pace. C Crow is slicing in a different league right now. Crow is... Slicing Star out of the way as quick as a flash. Next up, Jubert. Crow will set his sights firmly on the newcomer. Yeah, but let, let's be real here. Jubert and Star are in, a, are in a completely different race compared to Crow, so... That is true. But I don't think that matters because at the moment Crow is still theoretically behind. Oh, what's behind. going on with Sand Drives here? Oh, big incident. Sand Drives has Ooh. complete... That's a DNF. His car is completely totaled. I... What happened to him? Yeah, Sand Drives has become our next DNF. But if it was a mechanical DNF, his car was just totaled. Can we get an F in chat, please, for Sam Drives? We hope, hopefully, we will hear, hear from him in chat to explain what happened. But we don't, re we don't really see like big mechanical DNFs in uh, in these races all too often. So that's unfortunate. That is unfortunate. Star seems to be keeping pace with Crow. This is this is interesting. As I did not expect that. Uh, Gatlin says Metal. I need to talk to you as soon as possible. I am really in denial about myself. No worries, buddy. After the stream, I will talk to you there. Okay, okay. And we've got Triple F from Inferno, Sugared and Snooty. <gasps> But Juba is still managing to hold off Crow just a little bit. True, but, Crow but is just, um, Jubert, just gonna be waiting. He's, he's going to be pitting very soon because his front tires are in orange condition, yellow condition at the rear. His fuel is about to do drop below 25%. So if anything, Jubert will be pitting very soon. And he's a, he even has transmission damage. That is true. A lot of oddities happening in this race. This is all. This is very strange. Hmm. Oh, what's? Did Star also have a little bit of a moment because Aaron seemed to be able to cut? Hold on. What's going on with Star? He seems to be particularly. He's not going at racing speeds. Stars out of fuel. Oh no. Oh no, oh, Star! Oh, he's gonna be how... limping back to the pits. Star, what have you done, my friends? Running out of fuel. Uh, oh, and right the race leader is, is in the pits. Well, Easty has resigned to lead to or uh, wait. Easty here is in the pits, but huh? That right there is called Force the Timetables. Huracan has regained lead in the pink for REF12 just as we go over halfway through this race. And so will Easty uh, cut. Twisted is inferred now. Probably going to drop down even like lower. No, he's in. 
Twisted's in second. Yep, Forza is being Forza again. Yay! Sound more enthusiastic. <laughs> right, let's get let's look back here at Jubert. Jubert, my friends, you're really I don't know where you're getting this fighting spirit from, but you're really putting this on the show here. He's still keeping Crow at bay. This is very impressive. Oh, well, hold on. Hold on. What's going on here? We have a little bit of an off here. At the... Who is that? Uh, Saturn that has control Saturn. issues. That's a... His car's completely oh, no. destroyed. Yeah, his car is totaled. That's our... The, the, what's he going... Ugh, this is a bit of an awkward moment. Will he continue the race? Or... I think he will, just for pride. Finishing a race on, pri on merit alone is in... Well, if you have like a race like this, then... Well done you, but... I don't know, should there... We still have not really got a virtual safety car deployment, so... Hold on, is there a battle going on? Schubert and Crow still going at it. I don't know what's, what's going on with Schubert right now, but he's on the, he's just keeping Crow at bay. Considering Schubert is really holding up Crow. That is in quite badly. That's incredible. And and soon Aaron will be joining the fray, so. I don't know what what Super's plan is, but he's he's just this is incredible to watch. Schubert, buddy, if you hear us in the VOD, you're doing an amazing job here. Schubert is doing an amazing job because I know it's going to be pissing Aaron off quite bad. And if you and don't think about Aaron, think about Crow. His frustration right now. Come on, but Jube, but. Crow is going to be set loose in a minute because Jubit's only got 14% fuel. Oh so boy. he's going to either pit this lap um, or the next. Wait, hold on. Virtual safety car deployed, I believe. Yep, we, I think we have a VSC going on because they, the race leaders have slowed down to a crawl. I believe that is the case for Saturn. Yep. It's a, it's, we're gonna see a restart. Oh boy, this could get very tasty. And this is only going to allow Twisted another crack at a hurricane. Uh, think, don't think about Twisted, think about Mr. Scotty Guy. This could be the break that he needs to just get back in this fight. That is true. Because Scotty's currently Where in is fifth. Scott? He's... He, he, he's literally got a, he, he really has to get the hammer down if he wants any shot at redemption of this race. So, a lucky break perhaps for him if he can. And he's only even on fresh tires. He's in a very, very good position right now. The, he is. Holy hell. But I would be worried. I'm worried. Well, if Schubert is smart, he pits under VSC. If Juba is smart, he might, oh, however... Oh, but he, he really needs to... He, I don't think he can stay out for one more lap. He has to pit this lap because his fuel is just dipped... Has just dipped under double digits. He's going off. And you don't, and you don't want to do a start and run out of fuel. That could be... We, we don't want to see two um, people running out of... It's fuel um, at the moment. That's something sad. But Saturn here seems to be fully repaired. And he's currently sprinting back to um, the safety... Well, the invisible safety car. We are running, we are running yeah. a sort of Very redesigned cool. VSC. Uh, I believe... Um, Star is, I believe, asked to, to let... Either he is asked to let everybody that is uh, on the lead lap by, or he will get his lap back. Mm. Or he might just have to slot in. Hold on, who's that in the pits? 
Schubert is indeed in the pits. That is probably the best call to make. So, Crow finally has clean air as well as Aaron, but at at the cost of well, a lot of time because Schubert just held them up very impressively. Mm. Yep, I believe um, Star is asked to let the lead cars by. So. Um... So we're currently waiting for Zuber to exit the pit so that he can take P8 in front of Star, and then the field gets uh, reset. Which means we are back to tight racing action. We were, and remember, we're, uh, we're approaching the 75% marker distance in this race. This is really going to be a sprint. So let's take a quick rundown of the field. Your race leader under VSC conditions is Huracan, followed by Twisted, Easty, Ren, Scotty Guy in fifth. He has our uh, he's the closest to our championship leader, Twisted, he, who is in second. Um, then we have Crow in sixth, McGrath in seventh, Joubert eighth, Star ninth, and then Saturn rounding our field of uh, cars on track in 10th with our DNFs being, I just can't make them out on the ticker here on the top of my uh, screen. That would, be, that would be Sam Drives and uh, Gerald. Hmm. Anyway, so if Saturn is um, is uh, is uh, what's the lining up at the back of uh, the VSC, a uh, group then we may be going green in uh, on this lap with a better look we might be because there's only a handful of laps left and with these laps it's basically cut the rest of this race irrelevant that is true, and remember, we still have, like, we, we at most, we still have to see people do two more pit stops, so... This is now a completely different race. I think we might be going for one more lap, I'm not really sure. Saturn has caught up, but I'm, I don't... Well, Saturn has nicely caught up, so... Ladies and gentlemen, we, we might be going green. Very, very soon. We might be getting green. They'll be green. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Ladies and gentlemen, no, the that's, they're getting their lab back, so cars at the back of the field will get their lab back. Which means they... Oh, God, this is only going to make things even worse for Huracan. Absolutely. Absolutely. This is going to throw... This, this race is now... This is a completely different race compared to what we have seen the first 25 laps, so it's anyone's game now, e even e including Salty. This could literally blow... The championship is just reset right now. Granted, there are two cars between Twisted and uh, Scotty Guy, but a restart could throw everything wide open you've probably seen it look at look at Mugello last year in formula one that one that restart was well, and just a school a textbook example of what could happen during a restart and how bad shit everything can turn in after just just a single incident everything can turn back crazy and what you don't want to do is light up the rear tires. Just preserve your race pace. That's that's all you need to do right now. Every single percentage you lose on your tire wear could bite you in the ass if you're not careful right now. That's very true, actually. <laughs> well, I mean, I don't want to. I don't want to like bring this really up again. But look at um, Sergio Perez uh, and Red Bull last uh, last Sunday. I believe that I'm not going to really discuss about the um, the illegal overtake um, on Hamilton during the final few laps of that race. That's a different matter. We can talk about it if you want, but as long as we keep to our opinions, of course. But 
Because of Sergio Perez's car shutting down on the formation lap, no less, and losing Red Bull one extra race lap, that could have, have cost Verstappen valuable time to make a second attempt at, a, at taking the race lead. So, you really have to, mm -hmm. so, yeah. That's how uh, I look at it. Well, the back two are still trying to chase the pack. And I don't know how much longer we will be under VSC. Considering... Wait a minute, they are bunching up. Will they go green on this lap? Well, they are on the lead lap. Yep, we're going green. Oh boy, it's bad start from Twisted oh, here. Red is yeah, on the inside, we're going green. taking second place here in turn one, cutting in front of him. Easty, fourth. Twisted, third. Ren, going wide here. Will he hold second place? Twisted is, uh, is looking for it. And Twisted, oh, twisted is... is. He, he, yep, he takes P2, but Ren Whoa. is still right there. Oh, and Ren is going back at it. Going into the bus stop chicane Ren's here. Careful, gentlemen. Ren was nearly in, into Ren's the wall. Ren's got more speed. Bad exit here. Oh, bad exit for Twisted. Compromised exit here. So, I mean, he's, he is sniffing the rear bumper of Ren, but every single time they fight, Huracan is just... Pulling away. And Twisted here is going on the inside oh, again. Pumping. But Twisted can't do it. And now it drops them back side by side with Easty. Oh, oh look at Crow is going Crow is going wide and losing a lot of positions here in the back. Crow is dropping down to six after a compromised exit compromised turn. He seemed to have lost the control of his Ferrari. So he's now having it all to do against Aaron. As there's oh, there's a he's lot of battles going on here. As well. Oh boy, th th that's not... We, we know what happens when teammates are very close by. We've seen it with Red Bull. We've seen it with Mercedes. Accidents can and probably will happen. Oh, Scotty DNF'd. What happened to Scotty? You couldn't... You I, gotta be I kidding me. I knew I saw him... I knew oh, I wait, who's going in the pit? Huracan is in Aaron. the pits. Her that means... So, Crow, that means Aaron they're going Schubert. for their final pits now. And Huracan is fourth. No, wait, he's... Forza, stop being Forza. Allow me to commentate properly for once. Anyway, that is not... Important right now. We currently have a three-way single line fight between Ren, Twisted, and Easty. And Easty is edging very close to Twisted here through the bus stop chicane. It's still the advantage that Twisty Twisted holds, and they're just so all oh, giddy on Easty sniffing that rear bumper. This is incredible to watch. But we also are about to get a very, very, Ooh. very very tasty battle between four and against sixth and seventh here they're little, not necessarily in range we also had sap yeah, turn it's and it's a star. mad battle for the lead true as this is Ren, close. twisted and easty are all in sniffing distance oh yeah that easty is easty is really putting the pressure here on the mclaren driver so Better make that car as wide as I don't know what. Well, that's the thing. The sins of this race have now been forgiven by that very long virtual safety car, which has scrunched them all together again, meaning that if you want to fight, Sunshine, I'll give you a fight. And this is exactly why we love a... Oh, here comes Twist. Our championship leader is going into the pit. So, where is Huracan? Where is Huracan? He, oh, he's coming up fast. I don't think it will be enough of an advantage to... To Huracan to get it back in front of Twisted here. Oh, a very interesting. This just in, Scotty says... Crow and Aaron, who I was racing, had done three stops. I'd done one. As pits done under safety car do not count. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. That's not good. Oh, 
Hold on. Crow and Huracan here. Oh wait, it was Crow and it was a pit? I thought I thought Twisted was in the pits. Oh well. Yeah, the... Twisted is in the pits. Wait, where's I'm I'm getting confused by this game. What's going on? It's supposed to be Forza, but Ren is currently under pressure from Easty. The two Fords again. Uh, Jubit says, I'm going for a cookie. Okay, grab me a cookie. There's a little bit of distance going on between our two Ford GTs as uh, as we're looking at this POV from, or at least I'm looking at Ren's POV here, but again, it seems like the Ford GT has come alive again. Like, at the start of the race, this was a completely different car, and now it seems to be reignited of some sorts. Mind you, I believe Easty had a lot of, like, trouble at the start of the race. Very twitchy and compromised exits, so... Whatever it is, the four GTs have sort of come alive again. They really have come alive, haven't they? And Crow goes into the pits again. So, yeah, keep your eye between Easty and Ren right now. As uh, we also take a look at the back of the field, Saturn and Star here will not necessarily a battle opening up, but they are in proximity of each other. Star is trying their best to catch up. Wait, who's that in the pit? That's still Crow, I believe. Yes, it is. He will be resigning P3 or let's okay, make sure who it is. F is Crow is exiting the it pit. Is Crow. So. Twisted will resign that position as well, as well as Aaron. And Huracan is no, first. Crow, Crow comes out ahead of his teammate. I think that's good. That's good. You're you're minimizing um well maybe not necessarily, but you don't want to force each other into a close racing situation because I told you before. When teammates race each other, it could get very ugly. Crow is struggling again. Whoa! Hold on. I am... It looks like Saturn DNF'd. We... Oh no, Saturn, Saturn has indeed DNF'd. Mind you, four and then... DNF's. And then there were eight. Eight cars remaining, and Schubert seems to have overtaken Star in the pit lane, I believe. Or no, Star has overtaken Schubert in the pit lane, and is about to get lapped. Ren and Easty, though, still battling at the front. Ren getting a little bit of a comfort zone now away from Easty. Easty not being able to catch up to Ren on yeah, this Yeah, Ren is track. in total of control. Our race winner from last week is putting the hammer down. We've only got 11 laps remaining, so... And the pit... Don't forget the pit window. We're still... If uh, we could expect some very, very late pit stops, so... Um... That is true. So yeah, we don't really have that much track action going on, so we have reached another stalemate. Sure, there are battles. I'm, okay, well, you ca I can't really call the battle between Crow and Aaron a battle because these are teammates, so... I think there's going to be a lot of respect between them. Just help each other get to the front or at least close the distance. So, so, let's see who's relatively close. Ooh, fifth and sixth between Crow and Aaron still. These two teammates are going to bump draft one another to the finish line, it looks like. Yes, those two are... Yeah, they're, they're pretty much going to give each other the toe. So, if they can keep it clean and just... Don't force each other into a mistake, then I suppose they will uh, help each other nicely. Hmm. 
But right now we're looking at lap traffic coming up ahead because Star is about to be on a one lap down marker because the leader of uh, this race, FTC Ren, is coming up fast. And very fast on approach indeed, just gaining up off the ground there. In terms of the deficits. Aaron is still looking and they're just towing each other now to the finish. That's probably, in in this stage of the race, it's probably the best thing to do. So, uh, yeah, we're currently waiting on hopefully any battle, but Star here is about to be lapped by Ren, unfortunately. Yeah, and what's worse is Star will be pushing back Ren towards Easty. Yes, indeed, but Ren here is going on the inside. Star will be backing out of that fight and slotting in nicely. So, Ren is. So, Ren, his objective is to now push as far as he can to make sure that Easty does not pressure Ren in any way or shape or form for the race lead. And mind you, we're approaching. Well, we're currently on like a single digit of laps remaining, so. We could be looking, we won't be seeing a battle perhaps, but one thing's for sure. Star is uh, going to be put on a one lap down. Yep. But Star, in all fairness, is continuing to race this out. That now, is true, that... Aaron and Crow are going very close in terms of... It uh, looks like Aaron is going to try and do a last race attempt to Crow going wide again. Oh, teammates battling each other. You don't want to... Wisely, Aaron backs out of that fight. That's probably the best for both. One of the rules in racing is that you do not hit your teammates. And distance, they go again. Let's see. Let's see. Easy is looking. Oh, he just uh, put Star on uh, one lap down, so he's clear right now. Yeah. There's no traffic in the way, so Easy can put the hammer down and try to make maybe a last ditch attempt at the race lead. But if he wants to win, he'll have to do it very, very fast indeed. But hang on, that makes me curious. What is the fi- Uh oh. Hmm, I was is... just checking. The fuel on Wren's and Easty's Fords, they're on 30%. Or they're yeah, around the 30% marker, so... We could be, maybe be seeing one more pit stop from both of them, and that could change the race in terms of lead change. Oh, hold on, who's in the pits? Easty's in the pits. Right, if Easty's in the pits, Ren is going to be... Whoa, as Juvet nearly crashed into Ren. Last thing this race needs is, an, is another VSC, because that is going to throw the race completely on its head once more. And Crow and Aaron are still tandem drafting, but remember, teammates should not be... If you're smart, help each other. Agreed. And Huracan is in the pits as well. He's going for, I believe, his final stop because we're about four or five laps away from the closing win uh, closing point of the pit window. So if you want to do your pit stops, better do it now, boys. Hold on, twisted and easy here. Championship leader is under pressure from Easty. And Easty seems to have the speed advantage here. Oh, he does, but... Okay. Looking at the fuel state of Twisted, I think he can make the end of the race. But he is on warm tires compared to Easty, who has everything it, fresh. Yeah, but the problem is, does Twisted have to do another mandatory pit That's stop? That's indeed the question. Judging by his fuel states, I don't think so. 
Yeah, but don't forget the McLarens can easily do this race on two stops. That is true. So many unknowns in the in the closing stages of this very race. Who will win? Well, oh, he's looking is looking on the race. Ren is still not in the pits. He's really trying to maximize. And he might he be going for a end of window pit stop here? Twist and East is still going toe to toe here. Or at least it seems to be the case. It's not really... Well, Eastie is really trying to close the gap, but... Yeah, it's it's really... It's really... It's really a strange race right now. Hmm. So apart from that, we don't really have that much action. Twisted, though, is certainly trying to make a little bit of a gap from Easty. Yeah, but Twisted really shouldn't be getting involved in a battle here, because the more time he's losing, or the more time he spends battling, the more time Ren will have for a pit stop. And I believe Ren will be pitting... Uh, Infernus is asking how Huracan is doing. Actually, where is Huracan? Huracan is a... in... He's in sixth. That is... He's half a racetrack. He's pretty much 60% of the racetrack behind uh, our race leader. Alright, let's see. Will Ren be pitting? Ren's in he the pits! He is indeed pitting. So let's see where he... If Twist and an East, he can well, make, that, make the lost time up. I don't think they will. And it looks like Star has gotten past Jubert. Let's see here. That seems to be yes. indeed the case. Oh, um, Twist, Mr. Ren is rolling. It's not gonna be enough. Ren is gonna. Ren will have the overcut advantage, I believe here. They're approaching the final corner now. There's the... a battle for second and third, and a battle for fourth and fifth. Well, it's between teammates, so hold on. Who's that in pits? Easy going I into believe. the pits, so there goes his race. He, this could possibly be his race thrown away. But more importantly, Twisted is back... Six laps to go. Can East can Mr. Twisted get it back under the rear ring of Ren? Or will Ren go back to back races and deny the race? I think the Ren, I think Ren will go back to back races. Huracan will is exiting the pits in sixth place. And Star and Jubert looking perhaps for maybe a final battle for the low for the most bottom position on the track here. It's not really a battle as of yet, but who knows? We could be looking at a last ditch battle. Let's take a look here. It's Crow and McGrath here. Well, they're still teammates, so I don't really think we could expect a battle from them. And well, I'm looking again at Star and Jubert waiting for this battle to ignite because uh, we may be looking at our final battle here on track between Jubert. Oh, Jubert is definitely closing in on Star with that break action, but compromised exit will mean he will lose a lot of time to Star. That's something you really don't want to do at this stage in the race with only six laps to go for the lead car. Oh, that really is a wall, and Jubert getting very close to the wall. So far, the McLarens have been roughly average this race. Oh, big, br oh, giddy, oh, that's a big, <laughs> Jubert is on the rear. Holy crap, Jubert, that was an amazing action here, and Jubert is really putting the pressure on Star here. Two good braking actions, hitting the braking spots right on. Jubert is right back in his race, and... Look at this. Schubert is just... Is he... Does he have some sort of godfoot? Schubert having a compromised exit again. 
I think what Juba is doing is saying fuck it to the tyres and burning everything he can. Twisted to get currently. Past twisted, in, twisted is in the pits. Hey? Eh? Twisted was in, is in the pits. He's exiting right now. Crow and McGrath are turning seconds. And ready. So he did have another pit stop. Ooh. This however, could, and Easty however, is sniffing. Hold on. Hold on. The big question is, will Crow and Aaron come in on lap 38, the very end of the pit window? Oh boy, that could be that could be horrible. That could be dramatic as well as Joubert is really putting the pressure here on Star. Joubert going around the outside. Could he maybe line up for a overtake attempt on the Star finish straight? Doesn't look like it because Star seems to have a little bit of a speed advantage playing slightly away from Joubert. But Joubert has a Definitely has a big advantage. Oh, he's all over the place now of Star. So who will emerge victorious? So looking at our two drivers here. And Twisted and Easty here. The second coming of the Battle of Spot yeah. from Kashaw is back. And Sakura, I don't Sakura, I don't know how Crow and McGrath went from 6th and 7th to 2nd and 3rd, however, they are not going in the pits! That means they've done all their pit stops! Unbelievable! That was some coordination and a half! That is true, but I don't don't count Huracan out of this one yet, because compared to... Well, let's take a quick look at uh, Huracan's fuel and tires. He seems to have the advantage yes, over the two other Ferrari F12 drivers, so... Yeah, but don't forget, Ephes, with that added fuel, it's added weight, and added weight means you go slower. Is, is fuel simulated in terms of weight in Forza? Because I don't know that, actually. A, a little bit, yeah. Hmm. Well, there's... If you, go longer, if you go longer on your stint with less fuel, you'll go a tiny bit faster than what you, than what you would with fuel. I know that's simulated in Formula 1 games, but I don't know if it's simulated in, like, Forza games. I haven't really experienced it. It's not, it's not as in-depth as Formula 1 by any means, but it is there. Hmm. Well, uh, so far, so good, I guess, then, for our final few laps here at Watkins Glen. As it stands right now, it will be twisted. We will be getting the championship after an unfortunate DNF from Scotty. And let's be real here. Scotty could have made a big comeback. If he wouldn't have won the championship, he would have at least got a proper shot at winning the race. That is true. But Scotty being a little bit lazy, but also bad pits just means he had to retire. And don't forget also that spin. That, that was also important. Also, Scotty has just confirmed that Crow and Aaron did three pit stops before the safety car was out. Timing was... The timing was literally perfect. If they were hoping for a safety car deployment, they, well, they would have... They got it. Three laps remaining. Oh, but, Come on! Yep. Huracan is still in this mix, I think. It's it's going to be... Cl if anything, it's going to be very close to Huracan. It's going to be very close. He's, he really seems to be edging ever so slightly closer to the two F12 drivers. We might be looking at a, at a bonsai final duel between three F12s. Well, I'm sticking with these three because Huracan is certainly looking to break up the Cinderella. And mind story you, we of still have a battle. Go we, sorry to interrupt, but we still have a battle going on between Twisted and Easty. So, and even between Star and Hubert, we Huracan is getting past Aaron McGrath. Oh no, the the strategy of Star of our friends Crow and McGrath is falling apart. Huracan is having none of it. Crow, you have to hold off the pink menace for less than three laps. Come on, man. 
But we're currently on two lap on the two final laps on the race, and Huracan is in a different is just in a different place right now as he goes on the inside. Crow has Crow has basically no defense against this. Look at that the speed difference. Side by side. And Huracan will make the dive bomb and will make the move stick. Huracan has overtaken the teammates of Crow and McGrath. This is incredible. The Ferraris are now just in. It's a 2 3 4 situation, but Huracan is in front of a team. Crow, though, is hooking onto the rear of Huracan like no tomorrow. He's not done with Huracan yet. Set, strap yourselves in, boys, because this could get very tasty if the tires don't explode. Mind well, you, we using still every inch of track. I and Easty is still putting the pressure on Twisted here. He doesn't. Oh, here comes Sweet. Here comes Easty. Twisted had a compromised exit. Easty is on. Is right under the rear wing of Twisted. P5 is up for grabs here. Easty looking for a possibility to overtake Twisted here in the closing stages of this stay if of this race. But if Twisted just keeps calm, he can defend from Easty. Twisted are but remember, Twisted is our championship leader, having barely every any competition. So most likely, well, we are currently on the lead lap. Our um, race leader FTC Ren. Currently on the on the last lap, he has picked up the white flag here. But this just in. Oh, what our Twisted is having a battle with Easty still. And Easty is doing everything they can to get past. Indeed, he is doing it because it's it seems to... Anytime the, in the, the car in the back always seems to be closing in on the brakes for some reason. So... I don't know what's causing it, but whatever it is, we're currently... Anyway, it doesn't really matter because Easty and Twizzle are on the final lap of this 145 miles of um, Watkins Glen. Watkins Glen. Whew! It's, it it's, it's been... been a hell of a ride. It has been traumatic. It's been terrific. And best of all, it has been a thrill ride to watch. You can say that again. But I think, without a shadow of a doubt, I have to go on to our race leader. They have driven one of the best stints I've ever seen them race in the history of FTC. Here comes Ren, rounding the final corner. FTC Ren wins the race, grabs first place. Very, very, very well done to Ren. It was a perfect pick strategy, perfect racing and pace like we haven't seen. AMS Huracan snatched. Did Aaron just? Set. I believe Aaron just snatched P3 from um, Crow here. Oh my! Oh my God! Aaron McGrath did snatch. But uh, P3 that's not important anymore Crow. because Luke was coming over the line. Your championship winner will be most likely twisted here. He will be finishing fifth, but he most likely has the championship rounded up here in his McLaren 720. We were not sure if he would be. Well, safe in a different car, considering he switched to it last minute, but very solid performance from our McLaren driver here. Easty finishing up in sixth. And our last two, I believe. Yep, they, yep, Star and Joubert. Fighting it out. But I don't think it, this battle is, uh, is, for, is long for this world. Only two corners to go. If Zuber wants to make a move, he better do it now. And I don't think it will happen because he had a compromised exit. So, 
looking at the final position then it will be star taking p8 and Schubert's seven p9 oh uh, seventh seven, uh, yeah eight. seventh uh yep <laughs> and Schubert going wide so star will be finishing seventh and Schubert eight and that's the race timer or that the... is the race oh no yeah there goes Schubert drifting over the line yeah well, no, we actually just finished that that is that well that right there was one of the most thrilling races of the series i could say that this was a very worthy championship finale i can't agree more i, I actually can't agree more Ephes. If only uh, Star Abu said, was ah, so that was fun. My pit worked. Yes, your pit did work. Uh, Vision says, Huracan got a DC. Uh, the race is just over, so he got second, so sorry. But um, he didn't. The final positions, Scotty, I will read them out to you once again. FTC Ren is your race winner here at Watkins Glen. Followed by AMS Huracan, Aaron McGrath in third. Crow just out of the running. In fourth, Aurora Twisted in fifth. East in sixth. Seventh goes to Star. And rounding off the pack is Jubit in eighth. With DNFs of Sad Turn, Scotty, Sam Drives, and Gerald. And that's your uh, Minion Jersey Championship rounded up, considering. That we is. So, until we announce another little Saturday series, that is our Saturday streams, for the moment, wrapped up with a little bow. But, we might have something stored in the future, so if you want to see if we've got anything stored in the future, sign up to our Discord, follow us on Twitter, follow us on Instagram, follow us on Facebook. We're everywhere that you can get your FTC goodiness and your mix upon. However, Ephes, we've got one more thing to do before we sign off and wrap up this series in a nice little bow. Our driver of the day? Driver of the day. Do you have any nominations? If I were to choose someone, even though he has DNFs, I want to go for Scully. Mainly because of... He had a spin... He dropped back to the field, way back in the field, but I think that he, considering the situation he was in, I think he tried to make the best out of his race, so good job on him. You know what? I actually might agree. The only other person I was thinking of was maybe Aaron McGrath for snatching third in the last second. If you were to say McGrath, I would prefer to say then Huracan over... I would rather choose Huracan over McGrath, mainly because of how Huracan had his race pace locked down for the final laps, being able to overtake a team in just a matter of one or two laps. Uh, this just in, Scotty says, Aaron ended up beating him in the championship by one point. <laughs> oh, oh, if you want to, if you want a championship battle, well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, chat is exploding over Aaron saying, Aaron got Crow in the last corner. He got second in the championship. He went from, I believe it was fourth to second. I, I think chat has already chosen for his Ephes. Mr. Aaron McGrath? I, I think it will be have to be Mr. Aaron McGrath as our driver of the day for the last minute clinch. That of was P2. that move. But most likely, our championship winner was R1R Twisted, make in his last-minute uh, switch to the McLaren. An interesting choice. Huracan, there's never enough laps in a race. That is racing. However, you have been watching racing. However, like all good things, it must come to a close. So... Whilst my peanut munching co-host is still on holiday getting some well-deserved rest, you will not see us this coming Tuesday as we're on vacation. We're setting up our new series, getting ready. We will be back 
Thursday with Forza Photography Central, hosted by the ever gorgeous and utterly cuddly Mr. Phil and Dave, aka Sergio and Infernus, where they teach you how to make Forza look like real life in a game. It's truly spectacular. Then Friday, when Haseo Kofkov should be back, we kick off our brand new series of the Super Cup, where we race what you bring. There will not be a single duplicate of a car on screen, and it will simply be who will be the best interpreter and tuner of their vehicles, so you don't want to miss that. And if that sounds something you want to race off with, join our Discord. Let's see what you've got, because we want to see what you've got, especially because FTC is the place to be for racing action. But until that race in action resumes, we're going to have a tiny little respite, recharge our batteries, and then we'll be back in full lunatic fashion. Thank you so much to my twice now double standing co-host who has saved me so many times. I am so thankful <laughs> to this man. I love him like a brother. Mr. Effisgens, thank you so much for joining me in the commentary booth. No, thank you, Metal, for inviting me. <laughs> like I said, this was something I really, really wanted to do for whatever, for whatever like series or whatever. And I've been, and I'm genuinely humbled to have been given this, uh, been given this opportunity not once but twice. Maybe well, I'll be, Ephes... maybe I'll be in the booth for Tora. Who, who knows? Who knows? Actually, who... Ephes... Depending on what stints we get, what lobbies we get, and how many people are in it, I'm certainly going to put a good word in for you, because you're incredible at this, my friend. You're <laughs> utterly incredible. Oh, that's very kind but of you, anyway, sir. Anyway, buddy, I really wish you the best weekend. I wish all of you watching the best weekend, the best Sunday, and just the best start to your new weeks when they do eventually arrive because like a bad penny mondays always arrive and turn up however it doesn't have to be bad just make it better that that's all you can do however that is the end of the stream i've had my wonderful co-host here mr effish jens this has been the mec endurance if you've missed any rounds go and check our VOD still will be up on the channel for you to catch up on the most recent races. I've been your host, Mr. Gage, as always, as wonderful as insane. And we will see you next time right here on FTCR TV. Have a good night, folks. <laughs>